Today I'm going to show you how to shape a bull and how to shape a batard. Before getting started, I'm going to be rice flowering my Benettons. I have a line inlay, it's not necessarily required, but I feel that if I proof my dough for a long time in the fridge, 24 hours or so, then this is really the best way to make sure the dough doesn't stick when removing it from the Benetton. Rice flour works really well because it absorbs a lot of humidity and makes sure that your dough doesn't stick. I've tried also just regular flour, but rice flour is the winning combination of my experiments. Now I'm also rice flouring the boule, Benetton, and yeah, you can see the boule is basically just a round dough and the, the batard is a longer version of the dough. I personally prefer to bake batards, I just find them a little bit uh, more beautiful. But when you use a Dutch oven, it's sometimes easier to just go for a boule. And yeah, I wanted to show you exactly how to shape the different versions. It's very, very similar. And we're gonna start with this one and we're gonna turn it into a, into a, boule, into a boule. And what I've done, I've already let them bench rest for around 15 minutes. They have spread a little bit. And now this is the moment where we start using flour for the actual pre-shaping and bench resting no flour is needed. You want your dough to stick to the surface. But now the smooth and silky side, which is going to be downwards on the surface later on and which is later going to be the top side of your dough, we don't want that to stick. So make sure that you use flour not too much. Um, and with your floured hands, take your dough scraper and remove it. Do this with a swift, swift move, go below the dough, take it upwards and flip it over on the surface. Now what I'm doing is I'm spreading the dough a little bit further because this way I'm increasing the area on which I'm going to fold it on itself. This means we're going to have a, we're going to have this dough that sticks very well to itself and we're going to have more open spring. So take it and then I flip it over into the middle. I tuck it down. I take the right hand side, put that into the middle, hold it down, tuck it down, left hand side flip it over. You basically always want to flip things over sticky sides on non-sticky sides or sticky sides. That's way, that's way how your dough holds together. Take this, the top right, put it into the middle, top left, put it into the middle. And now we are going to do what is called stitching, pull from the right into the middle, from the left into the middle to make it stick together even better. This I feel is sometimes the hardest part. To finish it off, we are going to roll the dough on top of each other, um, take the top, pull it in words, keep doing this until your dough looks like this. And yes, this is the shape how a pool looks like after the shaping. But now to make it look nice and round, we're actually just going to roll it over the surface. You can use your dough scraper, I'm using my hands because they're slightly floured. Just keep rolling the dough over the surface. This only works if you did not use too much flour. So if you use too much flour, then it can be very hard to do this right now. So it's always hard you need to find the perfect amount of flour, basically. And you just have to experiment a little bit. Now take the dough, put it into the banneton, and yeah, we are basically done. That's our bowl. <laughs> Let's repeat the same, same process with our batard, and yes, that's gonna be the shape of the batard. Rice floured. Yep, showing you the difference here. <laughs> All right, let's get started. We need to put some more flour here on the surface, just like that. We don't want the silky side to stick to it. Um, that's super important. Just like with wool, basically, the dough sticks a little bit, use the bench scraper to remove it from the surface, flip it over, uh, clean your bench scraper in between ideally so that your bench scraper doesn't stick. Flatten out the dough a little bit and flip it over to the middle again, tuck it down, just look at how nicely that sticks to itself. Uh, right hand side in the middle, left hand side over the right side, top right side into the middle, top left side into the middle. Now we're going to stitch it again, stitch it together. I always feel this is the hardest part. This is always where I typically screw up a little bit. It just takes some practice though. And yeah, I'm happy with this, how it looks now. And now again, pull it outwards, 
roll it over, pull outwards, roll it over, pull outwards, roll it over, and keep doing that until it's nicely shaped. Look at all that tension. That's basically our retard. And we can make it look even a little bit nicer, give it some more tension by just tucking it over. In this case, I'm feeling it sticks a little bit too much, so that's why I'm switching to my uh, bench scraper. Bench scraper is really a useful tool when baking. I would say it's one of the most important tools, actually. And I would recommend, if you buy one, I would recommend you to get one which is out of uh, steel or aluminium. Uh, I would get a plastic one. But yeah, this is our batard basically, looking nice. Now flip it over with the bench scraper again, go below and quickly place it in the vanity. Beautiful. And those are our two doughs, bull and batard. Add a little bit of flour because we're going to cover it and we don't want that side to stick now to the cover. Yes, use a little bit more and that's totally okay. Uh, the worst thing that could happen is that it sticks to the cover and uh, we want to avoid that and that's why we flour it. Now what I do is I cover that, you could use a plastic bag, I'm using a linen and I'm going to be putting both of them into the dough for 24 hours. Thank you very much, I hope you enjoyed watching this video.